Hey folks, John with Complete Technology Solutions, your friend in the computer business. So guys, our friends over at PavaShot have sent us another very interesting self-defense item. This kind of is very James Bondy to me, and you'll understand why in just a second. Check it out. All right, guys, so before I get into this, there's something I want to address. Um, and when we did the last video on the stick shot, and if you guys didn't actually see that, I'll throw a link up here. You know, you always get these guys up there that are uh, uh, the tough guys, and, oh, that's not very effective, and that's not going to work good at all. And, you know, at the end of the day, guys, we're talking about particularly like colleges and stuff where you're not permitted to carry weapons of any kind you're not permitted to carry even pepper spray they get all flaky about that kind of stuff but at the end of the day we all know that soft targets are where people are actually doing stupid things so we need to constantly protect ourselves. well they're telling women and i'll give you an example they told my daughter when she walks out to her car to put her keys through her finger like this in case somebody assaults her. No, guys, there's got to be a better alternative than sticking your keys between your fingers. That's where this one comes in. So this is called the pin shot. Now, guys, this is designed to do two things. Number one, it's going to deliver one of the pepper balls and spray just like the other one did. But this is in a form factor that is actually concealable right in front of your face, which is actually pretty cool. So let me crack this open and we'll take a look at what we got. Now, one other thing I want to mention, guys, we're talking about the difference between everything that these guys use, and I'm talking about the stick shot or the pen shot, uses nitrogen cartridges instead of CO2. Now, there are advantages and disadvantages both ways. Um, let me give you the primary advantage. Temperature does not affect nitrogen at all. So, in other words, that if it's 115 degrees outside or it's 20 degrees outside, it's going to fire with the same velocity when you need to use it. Whereas CO2, the colder the temperature gets, the lower velocity you're going to get out of the round. It, it definitely does affect it. So basically what we're saying is that if you've got nitrogen, you're not going to be, you know, subject to any temperature changes. Now, CO2, it will. The thing about these is they're one shot. So when you fire it, it's all your velocity at one time. So you want the maximum you can possibly get. The disadvantage to nitrogen, and the reason we don't use it in most of the other self-defense weapons, is that it's not as compressed as CO2. CO2, when you fire it, it kind of boils up in there, and it repressurizes over and over and over. Nitrogen doesn't do that. So you have all your pressure in one shot. So you might actually get, like, say, the modified HDP-50. I'll shoot a link up here for you on this one fantastic weapon after the mod but if you were running nitrogen you might only get one two or at best three shots out of it they'll be great shots they won't be subjected to the weather but that's only going to be three shots so that's the reason we don't use nitrogen in the the regular co2 weapons but in these it's fantastic for one shot all right so let's crack this open sorry to get off on a tangent there but somebody did ask me about nitrogen all right we're going to unseal this here Guys, I don't look at these any more than, you know, as soon as they come in, <clears throat> I want to see them with you guys. So we're going to see it together. All right, getting Stumpy in there. I'm making sure Stumpy's on this time, darn it. All right. Okay, cracking it up. We got our Pava Shot card. And, guys, this is actually pretty interesting because they do have instructional videos on everything that they've got out there. Um, I try to make mine a little more cut and dry and a little more interesting to watch, but they are great. So if you need to go over there, check them out. Got your instructions in here. Ooh, look at that, guys. Pin. Okay, dude, seriously. It's a pin. Okay, I'm going to try to find the cut. There was a, a James Bond movie, and uh, I believe her name was Fatima Blush, and he had a pin. He had to sign this thing for her that she wrote out, and he pushed a button, and it shot out this projectile, and she exploded. Dude, that's all I can think of when I see this thing. It's really cool. So, all right, taking a look at the instructions here, though. As you can see, trigger safety, uh, they've got a spring pad here. It is an actual pin, so you can write with it and use it as a functional pin. So going into the instructions here, there's not too much to this, guys. You unscrew one side, put in the nitrogen cartridge, unscrew the other side, put on your pepper ball. I'll show you. All right. And getting into it, that is the actual pin itself, guys. Now, this is the replacement safety cap that pops off when you need to use it so you don't accidentally press your little button there. 
And as you can see, it comes with the pen itself. The blue tube is actually a practice tube. This is the actual loaded uh, pepper ball, and I'll show you that here in a second. And it comes with two nitrogen cartridges, so you can fire your test, and then you can load it up with the regular one. Guys, that is really cool. Something else this has got that kind of creeps me out, and I, I, it, it's, it's really kind of neat because if you... Th okay, the alternative to sticking your keys between your, your knuckles, right? This is one of those alternatives. You get to fire the weapon, boom, out comes the pepper spray, and then you bolt, you go, right? But if you look at the end of this, and I got to show, I'm going to show Stumpy this, guys, because this is creepy. All right. So as you can see, it's loaded. You can see the red tip on there, right? But if you look real closely, those are razor sharp little edges that are actually, they're not sharp to touch now, but once it fires that pepper ball, that is going to be a serious, serious weapon. So if you fired this thing, pow, and they kept coming, you could use it to stab. They call that a DNA collector. I'm not even joking. A DNA collector. So if somebody did assault you, you'd have some absolute proof of who it was just by your DNA collector. Isn't that creepy? So, all right, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and let's get one of these loaded up. Oh, they also sent me a couple other things here for testing, guys. Got a couple spare of the uh, uh, test cartridges, and they've got this stuff. So from what I understand, this is a 2.5% PAVA. It's a standard load. They actually have something called a 5% Magnum load. And as you can see, guys, this is what the refills come with. So you've got the nitrogen cartridge, you've got the back, the actual shot itself, and you come with the little clip so that you can put on the safety clip. So every time you get the recharge, that's what you're going to get in there, which is pretty cool. Um, obviously, if you're using something like this for self-defense, Dude, you want to go with good stuff. Don't use, you know, if I, okay, it's like the 68 caliber. If I have an option of whether I'm going to go with a 68 caliber uh, uh, pepper ball that's 2.5% PAVA or I'm going to spend, you know, 5 or 10 bucks extra and go with 5% PAVA, dude, I'm going to go with the good stuff. Same thing with self-defense, right? All right. Um, incidentally, this is what the, uh, th these are 0.8 gram, 0.8 gram nitrogen capsules. Pretty cool, right? Very, very small. So, and inexpensive, which is great too. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to get one loaded up here. Now, as you can see, this is threaded on here. Now, we're going to leave this one on because we're going to use it, obviously. You can see it is a completely sealed unit. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to grab this thread and we're going to unscrew from right here. There we go. And take it all the way out. And in here is where you're going to put your nitrogen cartridge, okay? So we're going to take one of our nitrogen cartridges, and I'm not going to use the one out of here. I'll use one in the little bag they sent me here. And another thing is, I, there's no need for Pell gun oil or anything like this on these things. Um, so what you want to do is you want to take your cartridge. You're going to put it nozzle down, nozzle down into the pin, and then you're going to screw the cap back on. Now, guys, it is pressurized. And you can feel the pressure there. So what you're going to do is you're going to compress and you're going to twist. And it is under a lot of pressure, guys. All right, so once you get that on there, I'm going to show Stumpy here. Just keep on screwing down until it is locked in place. Just like that. Now, at this point, you are ready to go. Now, your pin, look here, is down. And you can actually write with it. Let me find something to write on, see if this actually writes. La -da 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 -da. Let's write on this envelope. Look at that. And it does. It writes perfectly. And you can twist this to put the pen back up. So you can put it back in your pocket. Pretty cool, right? All right. But at this point, you have got a functioning and ready-to-go self-defense item. All right? So here's what we're going to do. You know the drill? Out to the range. We're going to put them down range. But I'm going to do this the same way we did last time, guys. I'm going to put this camera in a position where you can actually, first one, I'll fire normally. Then I'll move you into a position so you can actually see it when it impacts to see what it does. Let's do it. All right, guys, so we're back on our range here. As you can see, we got our pin all loaded up and ready to go. So what you're going to do is, now, normally if you're carrying this, like say you're walking out to your car, right, as an alternative to having your stupid keys in your hand, you've got your pin. Now, in a minute, I'm going to put the back on here with the actual pin part so that you can see that this looks exactly like a regular pin, all right? But you're walking out to your car, you just got your pin in your hand, all right? The idea is... If you need to use it, you twist, you're twisting this red part, okay? So in other words, you're going to actually twist the red part to either side to unlock it, all right? Then you flip up this, 
and that'll pop that off. I'm going to catch it, so just pop it off, and you're ready to fire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a shot down range here, and I'm going to give this one a shot. Here we go. Yeah. Dude, I actually kind of like that better than the stick shot. <laughs> Did you see that? All right, tell you what we're going to do. Let me reposition this camera, and we'll take another shot with it. Hang on a minute. All right, guys, so here's what we're going to do. I got us a nice fresh load here. By the way, I did put the little clip back on, um, and we're going to give it a shot right here in the middle. I'm going to aim for right here, and we want to see what kind of coverage we're getting, and we want to see if it's got any kind of an impact because I can't find what came out of it, so I'm kind of curious. It's a sealed end, so just like on the other one, it's sealed. All right, so let me back up here, and I'll do you another slow-mo on this one too, guys, so you can actually see it. All right, taking off our safety clip. And giving it a shot. Holy cow. You know, that thing disintegrates. Whatever that fired, it actually just disintegrated when it hit. Wow. And that's actually the cap. Guys, I need to find that. I want to know what that is. Awesome, right? So I'm telling you, something like this is a practical idea for a kid especially for somebody in college that can't carry a weapon but wants to be able to defend themselves. So I tell you what, let's go back in here. I want to talk about this a little bit more. Um, I got to, I got to fire it a couple times off camera. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. Hang on. You know, every now and then, guys, you get in something that really kind of, it's got a cool factor to it, right? And I mean, at the end of the day, we all know you can't, well, you're not supposed to walk around on campuses, um, uh, even in some buildings like, you know, uh, 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 movie theaters and malls and all that stuff. The soft targets, the places that all these morons are actually doing dumb things. You can't walk around there with your handgun anymore. Stuff like this intrigues me because it's concealable and it's, uh, well, <laughs> To use a phrase that we've all, if you live through the 80s, more than meets the eye. Well, that's exactly what the pen shot is. At the end of the day, that's a pen. And if you were writing with it, nobody would know that was anything but a pen. And if, in most situations, 99.9% .9 of your life, it would just be a pen. But in that one scenario where you really needed it, it would be there to help you and get you out of a situation so that you can get away safely. This is a great idea, guys. I really do like this. I like this more than I like the stick shot, and the stick shot was pretty decent. This thing's just cool, and it works every single time. I actually got to fire eight more cartridges online or offline here, guys, and it was just great. I let vendors around the flea market fire it. It's just really, really cool and efficient. So I highly suggest, guys, if you want one of these, go pick one up. You're not going to go wrong. Be a great stocking stuffer or a Christmas present. So, and I'll drop links down here just like I did last time for you guys. I'm, I really like this company, man. They're young. They're just starting out. They're getting their market out there. They've got something called a, um, called the NPDD, which is essentially, uh, for lack of better terms, guys, it's a pepper gas grenade. And I'm hoping that when they get some of those in, we'll get some of these in here to test. Needless to say, we won't be testing it here, but there is the airsoft field. We could test it down there. And I'd love to see how it actually works. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. This thing is great. I love it. I didn't think I was going to. I'm not going to lie. I thought I was going to hate it. I actually love it. So, don't hesitate. It's a great item, great gift definitely good to use have a fantastic week guys if i don't see you sooner come on down to the barn if you're in the area we'll talk to you later bye bye